All right, so I'm going to hit record for YouTube here. So, yeah, we are going back to the live arena. Uh, we actually just built Emic Trunk Heart in four-piece stone skin, four-piece supersonic. And so I think that, that we're going to have a lot of fun with that. We'll see. He's not super fast, but he's in stone skin, right? And then if people don't have an answer to unkillable, then, you know, we're in a really good spot. Really, really good spot. He's a very cool champion. I can refresh my cooldowns, put on killable, put um, the um, per, uh, taunt on himself. So I think that's super cool. And then when he's getting hit, he has a chance to increase their cooldowns. So I really like that. Oh, my phone. Oops. Yeah, so I really like that whole idea. Okay, Rodos. All right. I mean, what the heck did that guy just do? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> he picked his own emic. Okay. I really don't care. Really don't care. You're just never getting through UDK Harima with your two champions. And it's unkillable, it's not block damage, so I will eventually kill him too. My UDK has like 700 resistance, so his Wukong is not stripping anything. Is Roto taking his Roto's taking extra turns is also just gonna Get him killed. Hmm. Don't want to AOE. It doesn't really matter to me. He just cannot damage my team, so <laughs> the unkillable's gonna run out and I'm gonna kill him. Okay. Okay, so she's killable now. This team being fast is working well for me, too. <laughs> Bro, like, what? <laughs> he might have his buff strip back. I just don't really care. Okay. My turn. So I'll be reviving with Duchess. <laughs> yep. I would punch him so he could do unkillable again. Nice. Cool to see someone with the you know, similar idea to me, actually, though. But I mean, Harima UDK was just so broken against this team, it's not even funny. I just get way too hard countered by that. 
This nuker's just got insanely hard countered. Dynamic was good though, bought him a lot of time. Very clever. Decided to use my own. It's right there. It's ready to go. Okay, Mikage and Krixia. We have a lot of magic champions, and Quixia can weak it, so. Good to keep that in mind. Mikage with the uh, aura boost instead. That is so strange. So he's only picked one nuker. So I can go Rotos. And then Tormin, or. Maybe the rat. Turn to Krixia. I used to pick another nuker. Maybe Wukong. We're probably just going to ban his thing. Just ban the cooks, yeah. Oh, I used the worst. <laughs> I'm so not used to having Wukong. Ugh. Only two stone skin. Lightning cage, too. That is interesting. Okay. I went for a silken snare. Just decreased his cooldown. Okay. Good to know. Gosh, bro. All right. As far as I understand, she's still locked out, so. And there goes Rhonda. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you leaving. Emic wasn't really good there because he had two ways to either lock him out or remove deep, or remove buffs but it's all about the buff that he, excuse me he's all about the buff that he places <laughs> Harima and whatever that dude is uh, okay Bombs look very easy, so what do we want to do to make that work? So that, and then another support. We could try Emic. Um, we could go Valk. We could go... He's nothing to deal with Emic right now. That'll force him to pick something, but then he also has to deal with uh, the rat at the end. We're just banning Armands. I guess I could ban this guy in fear of the polymorph. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay. Well, that's that's a lot of mythical champions, my guy. Well, I think I know what I gotta do. And I think, yeah, he saw it too. If we can lock Armand's out before he does too much, though, we'll be good, right? He has no, his Armand's just naturally has his own, he has no help to go first or anything. So if my Yumiko goes first, 
think we're in a great spot. Wow, wait, what? I think he just disconnected, like, genuinely. I think that I was, like, probably 70-30 to lose. Like, I was probably 30% to win. If, if that, that might be cope. <laughs> you think he just DC'd. Well, I'll take it, I guess. It doesn't feel good. I would have actually liked to see how that played out. I love that when I pick the rat, he's, like, always bad. I have Yumiko Emic. The rat is so scary. The free log champ that no one really plays. I agree too, though. I usually. Oh, no, he's right back. Oh, it's a big first. Well. That's very rough. So, what did he pick? He picked. Harimo, what's it? Um, the UDK mythical thingy. Um, he also had Mikage. And then he had the Barbarian Mythical. And then what was this other champion? Crixia as well. Man, holy crap. I mean... What else do I do? Uh, just pick the same stuff. Pick my best champions. Uh, so yeah, we can pick a bomb... Bomber again last year. I know he has a lot of mythical, so Yumiko's not so good. Um, I'll try Emek again. And then. He's got Crixia. I could go with this guy. Hmm. I mean, trying to lock out Armand still seems like an idea. Okay. Same thing. There you go. He didn't DC this time. Well, I got to see, I guess. I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose. It's like, it's, it, it's even worse now, right? Oh, he had Armand's last time too, actually. Yeah, he had Armand's last time as well. Armand's is his only interaction with Stone Skin. I'm actually faster. Wow. That's really good for me. I think he just loses, right? Her second form doesn't stop me from killing him with bomb. Oh, wait, he doesn't. Never mind. Never mind. He doesn't have bomb. I don't have bombs. He banned it. I'll just, I'll, I'll just do this. Because it makes them hit him, and that can increase their cooldowns. Oh yeah, and this guy can attack me, so. I don't know why he did that, but okay. Okay, so stone skins and stone skins gone, his taunt stays. Please increase his cooldown back. Nope. Nice. No reviver, so I'll do that. Oh, he has to hit him, right. Feared himself. Nice. He's also got the hex on him, so yeah, he might just stun his own... Yeah, wait, I had block debuffs. Why did he do that? He's going to sheep his own teammate, too? Does he not know how that works? I don't think he does. <laughs> I'm still going to lose. That's so crazy, right? Mythical's too strong, man. Yeah. Mythical's too strong. He just freaking debuffed his own team with Armands, but it just doesn't matter. Let's see if we can get the revive off first. Yeah, we can. I think we're all just going to die again, though, right? I don't know. What could I uh what could I have done differently? I don't know if you guys have any ideas. 
two bombers? I actually could. I don't think I've built out Gaius, but I could have built him out. I have, well, I haven't built, I haven't booked him. That's what I meant to say. Man, people really don't plan around bombers on your team. They are very good, man. It just doesn't matter almost, unless you're a terrible gear, right? It almost just doesn't matter how tanky what their bombing is, unless they're like 120,000 HP, but no one does that anymore in Arena, right? It's all speed in Live Arena since Armand's came out. Everyone's trying to like out outrace each other. Because even Armand, a lot of the best, a lot of the best speed champions either ignore stones again or have ways around it, like Mikage, Armand's, um, George it, a lot of these like top tier champions. Crixia can decrease it. Galathia can remove it. Like <laughs> every of the most powerful, speaking of. Okay. Emmett could be good with his passive. Um, okay. I think I still want to go Rhonda. Yeah, let's do that. Right now, Ben and Galathir, most likely. Oh, okay. That's really weird. What What did I pick that made you want to pick Tormund? I don't know. So, Emic is good. And then... Another Nuker. He hasn't really picked one either, so I could actually go Rodos. If he goes UDK. It's kind of annoying. I do have Armands though. Um I could pick a bomber, because I, I could still pick him because he beats this and then plan to ban her, and then if he picks another whatever, we're fine. And then, what do I want as my other locket in here? We'll go Yumiko. Plan to ban Galathir. Okay. Um. Or no, sorry, I plan to ban Sifi. All right. Galathir is not a guaranteed anything interaction with Stone Skin, right? He'd have to try and strip it, which is not guaranteed. He's also got a slow Galathir, okay. So she she can't buff. He can still try to do his thing. I've got a uh, Lightning Cage and Stone Skin here, so it's very unlikely that he can get rid of this. Yeah, and he didn't, so I think he loses. Yeah, because I also got that. All right. He did resist. Oh, wow. Oh, Rodos might take an extra turn and kill himself. He did. Wait, what? Wait, what? Why did Rodos not? Wait, what? Rodos got it. It said he took an extra turn, but it didn't take an extra turn. Why well, win, right? So. Wow. Beating these people with mythicals and siffies and stuff just so crazy to me. I used to think I couldn't. Like I used to genuinely think that. Because there's just so much in their kit. They're just so overloaded. But here I am, climbing over the corpses of all these people with two to three mythicals. It was just so insane. I still think that they typically, especially if their account is super crazy, I still think they do typically win. I don't know, maybe not anymore though. My win rate's been crazy lately. It's the uh, aura. Okay, no polymorph, that seems insane. Mm -hmm. So I want to last pick him. 
I like the idea of Emic here, because this guy does not ignore unkillable. He does not, so I'm going to go Emic. Uh, and then I want to last pick the rat. He's just so powerful, so then just Yumiko, Emic, I think. They're good together, too, because he can refresh her lockout. She can refresh his unkillable. Okay. I didn't pick anything for this, so... Yeah. Didn't pick anything for the rat. He banned Yumiko. Alright. He has nothing for stone skin except for this guy, but he's not faster than my Emic, so we're chilling. Emic's got a turn meter there. Okay. So they still get unkillable. He is killable, but they get unkillable. We got a revive for him, so I'm not super bothered. Okay. He's just dead, right? I guess Wukong could get through. Yeah. Well, you can kill him at least. Oh, he lived? Wow. Emic was really good here. Whatever happens, he was really good here. Okay, take more damage from the poison. Nice. Still pretty sure he doesn't interact with, with unkillable, so... I don't really understand the point in that. Dang. Was not to be. That was really good, though. Dude, Emic did some freaking work. He almost died from all the poison and bombs, too. I really like what I did there. I really like what I did there. If Emic hadn't got his stone skim stripped, I think that was a win. Right, because then we put a big shield and refresh cooldowns. I really like that. He was way better than I thought he'd be there. I, I got so many turns off because of him. Alright, cool. I don't think he's great in the, the meta. I think he's a late pick, at, yeah, but he can be very good. I wish I'd gotten Helicath, but I missed that. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Nothing to interact with uh, stone skin being picked currently. I like the Rhonda and Duchess still again. And then we could go like Emic and Rhodos or something. Okay, so we'll ban him. I ban her. He could go UDK if I go Rhodos, which is unfortunate. But I have this. So I could, hmm, I've got options for sure. What do I want to do? I'm gonna pick Emic, so let's do that. And then I'm gonna pick. Vulcan? No, oh, I kinda need UDK. Or, uh, yeah, I kinda need uh, uh, Rhodos. Hmm. I don't know how I'm gonna kill them otherwise. I guess. There we go. Uh, yeah, Nogdar can just kill her first. Alright. Rod Ar Arbiter's last pick was really weird. Went full stone skin. Oh, he can decrease buffs, right? I forgot he did that. Crap. I forgot he did that. Dang it. So Emic wasn't well. I did have Emic in protection before I don't anymore. Alright. No oh, thanks. Oh 
Okay, that was his thing. How does he get to go? I don't understand. I just got so much turn meter. What? Bro, what? What? He just got like 30% turn meter from all the buffs he placed. He placed like three to four buffs on his whole team with 2% turn meter for each. He was already at full turn meter before he even did anything. What the heck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wouldn't have revived had I known that. My gosh. Crap, dude. I wonder how close he was to going, dude. It must have been so <laughs> close. Six star polymorph on Arima. Mm -hmm. This could be another Nogdar attempt here. Nogdar Emic again could be good. He doesn't interact with Unkillable either. Hmm. Could go bombs. He does have this polymorph here, but... could I do? Um, I could go with Nogdar. He's not good here. Bombs are good here. I need to go like this. Go. And the rat. No one's fast on this team except Crixia. So if you were to pick like a Mithrala or something. May not work. Okay. I don't even know what that champion does. I think she does a cleanse, but no block debuffs. But if she gets locked down. Oh, he banned Yumiko, I think. No, he didn't. He banned Armand's, right? So if she gets locked out, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, she got locked out. So I think he's dead. And they're all running out of reaction and everything, all their stone skin. Blocker passive. So even if there's a polymorph that happens, it would get reflected potentially. Okay. Alright, she's got one more turn before she can do anything. We can kill her. Yeah. Dude, that freaking proc of Rhonda's, uh, what's it called? Phantom Touch? That did 25,000 damage. Wait, what? <laughs> Holy crap. 25k Phantom Touch. I didn't think it hit that hard. I'm liking my roster more though. I'm, I'm able to pick out a lot, pull out a lot more things. Okay. Really like the idea of doing that again. Um, we'll go Harima, or sorry, Yumiko, and I might do Emic again because again he has nothing to deal with him yet. Um, Let's do it. It's generally speaking pretty good. Okay. 
Seems very slow. So yeah, bombs are good. He's the only one that can't be bombed. Most likely, right? He's not to deal with stone skin except for Armand's praying that he can uh, sh like strip buffs. The sheep is guaranteed, obviously, but the other parts are not. And our ones can only sheep one person. Nice. And then I get to place unkillable on everyone. But also the rat. Uh, he can, yeah, he can try and. Oh, wow. He puts block debuffs. Really? Oh. Okay. Didn't realize Lazarus did that. That's very interesting. Wow. <laughs> Lazarus really plays his block Divas. Okay. Let me I am seeing these champions a lot. Let me oh, they're just they're just they're just walls of text. I mean will I even remember everything they do, no matter how much I read it? Like will I ever remember everything? Defense <laughs> all allies. Because this duration, all enemies buffs, block buffs on all enemies, dude. Like really? Holy crap! Defense shield. Okay, and ignore some defense. Um, I know kind of what Galathfear does. Block debuffs, remove. So it's a cleanse block debuffs, revive, return meter, and HP, and veil. Same fatal damage. And then. Remove all buffs from all enemies. So buff strip, block active skills, increase accuracy, decrease resist, and stun. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay. So they do everything. All of them do everything. All of the mythicals do everything. <laughs> How have I been beating these champions without knowing what they do sometimes? So I needed to ban... I, I needed to ban all the champions that he picked. That's what I needed to do. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Armand's makes me feel like I have a chance at least, right? I don't know how, how new players would ever, man, like, you are never going to get a new player to, like, stick through to, to get to this point in the game. It's just, man, Raid has just lost the new player, I feel like, so long ago. They've even kind of given up on it, right? Like, they've, they've completely, they've severely limited the advertising and stuff. It's like, how are they supposed to keep up? There's, there's a million walls of text on every mythical champion, and they're going to start seeing them in, like, Silver Arena. <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. I guess you kind of want to go Wukong. You can strip the buffs. It looks pretty good here. Let's do that. The new player experience is like maybe one of the worst ever in this game. I guess there is a somewhat of a tutorial, but I'm just—it doesn't. It's there's so much. It's so, so outdated now. There's just too much, man. There's just too freaking much. <laughs> I might just ban him anyway. He probably will be, won't won't expect that. Because he's probably going to ban, like, UDK. And try to one-shot our monster stone skin. What the frick? I think that he ran out of the time or something. I don't know. <laughs> he's probably going to ban one of these chips. <laughs> I know, he's going to ban our right? <laughs> I don't know, dude. 
So he's just hoping he goes. For, yeah, yeah, no, he's not gonna ban our minds. He's gonna hope he goes first and ban like Yudi Carrot or Harima. Uh, okay. It looks like he's the seed or left or something. <laughs> Player needs to figure something out for new players, though, because the whales are going to die out when old players start leaving. Which is going to happen over time. It's just going to happen. What happened to this guy? Okay, he's there, I think. Got Packmaster Shyak. <laughs> okay, what the heck, dude? <laughs> What did he just do? How well- wait, how have we done so far? We're six and four? I thought we should be five and five because that guy that beat me left somehow. Is there some internet issues happening over in Europe or something? I don't know. It could be happening in America too, I'm sure somewhere. People have been really spotty today, it seems like. Is that the same guy I just fought? Siffy Harima, okay. Plus two, six star awakened Siffy. And Harima. We're gonna pick Ronda. Banning that Siffy and then picking uh, the bomber could be good. Okay. Never mind on that. So he does have two nukers, Yumiko, and then. Technically, yes, two nukers. Uh, Nogdar? Okay, I think we'll do that. Wait, going first doesn't help you. What? Does that champion do something against buffs? <laughs> I, I, I keep thinking she strips buffs, but then I fight against her and she never strips any stone scan. I... Is she supposed to be able to? And I've just, she just had 0% against me for some reason? I think she does. I think she's supposed to be able to. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Didn't even shoot me, my gosh, dude, that is so sad. <laughs> Look how much polymorph he has, this guy's probably raging. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. What? Oh my gosh. I guess he deserves it, you know. I've been very lucky. Why did he give Harima an instant turn? I don't understand. So that's... Is that supposed to strip buffs? No, maybe it's just turn meter decrease and increase. I don't think this guy knows what Nogdar does still. He's been funding against them for a second here. You sure you don't want to kill him again? Okay. 
<laughs> no, no. Oh, gosh, dude. One of my favorite champions in the game. He's so silly. Freaking love him. So silly. In the best way. He's a silly boy. Okay, Mikage Wukong. If he doesn't pick two mythicals here, I'm probably banning Mikage picking Yumiko. He can be locked out. He doesn't have anything for that. Like, that guy doesn't do anything about being locked out. Um, I want to just go Nishak as well. He seems so effective, and he's also got no polymorph. He's just always so good if, if I don't need to worry about anything else. So what is he trying to do? I don't know. To decrease my buffs with that... He's probably more likely than her, right? It's a small, it's a small chance, 150-50 each, and he's got many, so I'll just block him, okay. Because I've got uh, the Lightning Cage. And Mikage cannot debuff Yumiko either. It's one buff, so she cannot remove her. Um, she's not gonna remove her veil and the other thing. And she also, yeah, she might just get Ronda's shield, too. Didn't get anything that mattered to me. He tried again? Okay. Really? He just has A1. Okay. Nice. All right. Ronnie, you want to finish her off now? Ronda? No? Rhonda? No? Okay. <laughs> Come on, dude. You really gotta sit here. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Crazy, crazy account that he had. What did we ban? We banned, um... The, yeah, he has the Gallia, Marius, the Gallant. He's been playing a lot. Is this the guy that had like five mythicals he picked against me? I think it is. And now he's going to get Armands. Oh my gosh, guys. I want to just leave. <laughs> oh, he didn't even take it. He didn't have anything. He did, he's not going to pick anything else that I have. I don't, I don't think he cares. Okay. Not five mythicals yet. Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. God, I really want to pick Rodos. I wonder if this guy could kill him. Probably not. I think Rodos, I could actually ban UDK. I'm gonna go Emic. I might regret that. I don't know if that's very good. Okay. 
I will just... Hmm. Wait, let me... Uh... I think I gotta ban her. I do have a lot of magic champions. Maybe I just say screw it and go for it. I think I do. I think I just say screw it and go for it. Ban the one guy that's most likely to screw us up. Mm -hmm. We hit Rhonda. Okay. Taras is in two turn stone scan. Okay. Ronda, no? Okay. GG's, I think. I think I'm dead. Oh, I do have my revive coming up. Well, I mean, I guess I do it, right? Because Rodos lives. Takes an extra turn. attack yeah and then he's gonna go again ggs those are the last time i fought him i think the mary spam was clever he's just got his account is just really hard for mine emic didn't end up being good I, I thought he was the other guy that had like literally picked like four or five mythicals his name was seen familiar i knew it was someone i lost to and so it was the guy with Marius, and I might start putting people's names in the thing. I'll probably wait until I'm higher. I might literally copy Biohack. I don't know if I would have the mental capacity to constantly be looking at that, but I guess you can search on the uh, Google Doc, right, or whatever. I think it's a Google Doc he has. I don't think he would send it to me either, right? Especially if I'm climbing up. There's no way he want to give me all his hard work. Okay. I like Emic, but me his last pick or pick him now because he's gonna get a lot of turn meter from this. We also could go Valk. Let's get Valkyrie a shot. I haven't really used her much lately. What about Valkyrie Uko? That seems really fun. I don't. It's probably not gonna win, but I want to try it. <laughs> Whatever, bro. Get a bunch of turn meter, steal a bunch of his buffs. We hope, right? That's that's the hope. <laughs> okay. Very interesting. What? Oh, I'm gonna go this guy and ban her. Probably still gonna lose. I'm just kind of having fun. <laughs> Why does everyone ban Nishak? They always ban him. At <laughs> least like 90% ban rate when I pick him. What the frick? I'll have like Armon, Simica, and they're gonna ban Nishak. <laughs> Why is he so scary? That's so funny. Alright, Uko. Do it up. Resisted. Okay. Stole some buffs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
Yeah, well, they can beat this. People who get Armands from me and then pick a mythical. I mean, I don't know if Uko Valkyrie was the best idea. Uh, should I? I don't know. Should I play this or just leave? Okay, yeah. What should we? We should just go on Yumiko. Uh, this guy's in my clan. <laughs> Yo, what the frick? I'm gonna type to him. Should have gone just Yumiko something. Um. <clears throat> it's called clanmate that's been like arranging siege <laughs> for us. He's gonna pick Mikage. Okay. Got six star polymorph on her. Nice. Should I take Yumiko? I don't know what champions he has. Should I take Yumiko? Let's go, Duchess. Ugh. I don't think he has a ton of mythicals. Okay, so Rhonda's good here. Rhonda, Yumiko. Do that. Could actually go the rat and ban Marishka. Currently, I mean, we'll see what he about his last two are. Could be a good Rodos pick. Whoa. What on earth? Rodos ban Taras? Wait, what did, it, did it? Did he mean to do that? There's no freaking way, dude. What is he doing? <laughs> they feel bad for me trying to give me a chance. Oh, resist cardio. <laughs> what the frick? For what? How do you do damage to me? Mm -hmm. Wow, very nice. What the frick? I don't know, dude. Okay. I'm so confused. Mm hmm. That dude just doesn't do any damage. He's not an arena champion. I don't know if he meant to pink him. So we just wait for Rana to block her passive. And then we do it now. Still strumming. Okay, so is this cardio? It's very interesting. Does he have his cleansing? I don't think so. I think it's a four turn cooldown. Okay. Wait, what? Oh! I see what just happened.
Because <laughs> of the revive. Okay. Gotta say, I don't really see it. Does he have it again? No. Yeah. Cool. What the heck is that, dude? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way, bro. <laughs> That's no way. <laughs> I still have 30 minutes. I might go again. <clears throat> I'm trying to build up this stuff for uh, Hydronus and Square City as well. No way he meant to pick Michinaki. He literally didn't do any damage. Okay. Kong. Well, this is do, 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 do. pretty good for him. I yeah, so I can go this, this, ban the Siffy. That's the hope as well. Anyway, yeah. Okay. I don't know why so many people use Kaimar when like no one uses all these other better free champions. Like no one uses almost no one uses Emic. Like very few people use Nishak. No one uses Ronda. And people so many people are using Kaimar. He's not good, man. Does he get to go? I don't. Oh, why does that work that way? The bombs at the start of his turn and then. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Armands. Okay. 
Siffy Wukong. Plus three Siffy. That's interesting. Bro, are you fucking kidding me? Stop. Sorry, I'm checking something on my phone. Not like I'm missing anything anyway. Alright, so that. Hmm. Pick you, Yumiko. And. Nogdar. Ban the Warlord. No Y Arbiter, but okay. Okay. Right. All those characters are going first. They just don't have anything to do with stone skin. Anything to do against stone skin. I was his AoE. Now he just has single target, so we don't need to lock them out. It doesn't have no. Uh, I guess you can swap anyway. I guess we lose. They actually stripped the Ronda, unfortunately. I think I just have to try and reset that cooldown and hope that she doesn't kill her. <clears throat> That's, she's gonna kill me. Dang. His whole team went before, and somehow the Wukong was able to strip. I mean, it's always a chance, I guess. I mean, she could weak hit Rhonda. She did. That was above half turn meter? Okay. I think I was pretty favored there. That There was only one 50 50 I had to win, and it was over, right? Or if I uh, got to actually go first, or get to, if I got to lock any of his champions out. Although I guess the, I don't know, maybe maybe not. Maybe I still would have lost because his mythical still would have had an ability. <clears throat> okay, squishy team so far. Always like Ronda. Bombs look pretty good too. So far, you know, not bringing a lot of utility or ability to deal with bombs. Okay. This team is so squishy. Um, do that. 
might just ban him too. Although he's gonna get locked down most likely. Okay, just ban the Arbiter. I think that's the best way to do this. Just lock all his nukers out, and Mikage is not going to likely be able to remove any stones again. It's very unlikely. Because it's one buff, right? Or is there one that's all buffs? It might, there might be. I know she has, she has a buff ship in like both forms, I think. But yeah, I mean, Mikage can't make... She can't CC what's her name, yeah, so it's just over. Oh no, decreased attack just went out too. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna this back, so. GG. And Wukong is locked out anyway, so I'll just kill her. Try to kill her with, between these two. I have to read my and Wukong's locked out. <laughs> Alright. Wait, why? He wasn't locked out. <laughs> but I have to read my, it just doesn't matter. guys here still playing mm-hmm yep yeah because Wukong's coming back <laughs> yeah <laughs> Rana didn't block his revive or anything <laughs> what if they went wrong <laughs> come on What is this icon? I, people don't have it. I think I've met some pretty strong accounts. Don't know what it's from. Yeah, so far seems like it. Okay. Foreman last pick could be super impactful. pick a bomber so he can't pick another bomber him or him let's do that <laughs> All right. So Armands can only realistically deal with one of the nukers, and the other one should be free. This guy has no reviver. Okay, I think we're good. I think that was a mistake. Oh, I guess he can get the rat now, though. Probably lose. Wait, what? So confused. I don't know why he did it that way. I think he had a like guaranteed win. 15 million is a clan later. You know, the ban might have been the turn meter booster there. Because I just need to. Because see, I have Torment and Yumiko, right? He's going to ban one of them. 
I think I expected him to ban Yumiko there, to be honest. So, I, you know, I can't see what he banned until after. Okay. No, 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 don't pick. Don't pick that. <laughs> don't pick that. Kage, Yumiko. Okay. All right. Uh, Emic, Tormen, Tormen. Do that. He's another nuker. Similar thing that to the last guy. But he doesn't have any turn meter fill or anything. Oh, does Mikage do that? Again, there's so many things these mythicals do, it's hard to keep track. Okay. Didn't freeze anyone. Wow. I guess I lose. Oh, maybe not. Can I go first? No. No, there goes Wukong. Dang, dude. He's so fast. I just have a six star blessing. I, what did they also do have here? Yumiko? Yeah, I think I gotta ban Yumiko. He's faster than even my Duchess. I think that was my last fight, right? Yes. Dang, dude. I was doing so well, and I feel like I lost so much at the end. Yeah. Actually, this, this was still 5-5 five and five at the end here. Okay. I'm fighting people. I'm punching up. I'm punching up against people that are way higher power than me. That guy's close, but if we look at that, we're win and I'm winning a lot. Still over 50% this session. I've only had one session in all of uh, Gold Two Live Arena so far. I've only had one session where I lost more than I won. And it was by one. It was over 20 fights by one. I had I had 11. It was nine on 11. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching on Twitch and YouTube. Appreciate you guys. Check out all the links down below. I'll see you soon. God bless, guys. God loves y'all. Peace. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed and will continue to follow along, join the community, subscribe, and, and be part of the future videos. I just wanted to quickly share uh, where I find contentment, where I find joy, where I find hope in these crazy times we live in. So much going on in the world, so much bad news, and so many just things to bring you down. And I just wanted to share that I am a Christian and I fully believe as silly as it may sound to some people that there is a God that made us all with purpose. And although we all chose to go our own way, myself included, and, and, and to just reject this God, reject this creator, that that broke his heart, that he didn't want us to be separated. And then he sent Jesus to die for our sins and to make us new, to make a way for us to be reconciled as a payment for our 
sin as a payment for the punishment that we deserve, that Jesus died. And now we can be reconciled to God. And not only can we be made right with God and have the promise of heaven, but this this life is also filled with purpose as we're able to know him and find joy and contentment through the through the relationship with God, that we can invite others and we can make a lasting eternal impact on others by sharing this truth and inviting them to know him. And I would just love to tell you guys more if you have any questions, but I just want you to know that God loves you, whoever you are, whatever you've done, nothing has disqualified you from his love, that he genuinely cares for you more than you would ever know. And I've experienced that love and it is just it's, it's done so much for me in my life and I want that to happen for you guys. So uh, thank you guys so much. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope you guys are here and gonna join the community no matter what you think or who you are or what you believe, guys. God loves you. I love you. God bless, guys.